वेक्टर आलजिब्रा एक्सइज नंबर टेन पॉइंट वन सेकेंड पी युसी एन सी आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोयिंग टू डू ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सइज नंबर टेन पॉइंट वन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस एक्सरसाइज यू मस्ट बी गुड इन थीरी पार्ट टिल नाउ वॉट वी डन इन वेक्टर आलजिब्रा चैप्टर ओके इफ यू आर गुड इन दोज डेफिनेशंस देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस एक्सरसाइज वेरी ईजीली Otherwise, you will get the trouble. However, I will explain the definitions whenever necessary. So, let's start the class. You see this first question. Represent graphically a displacement of forty kilometers, thirty degrees east of north. Represent a vector graphically, which is of displacement forty kilometers, thirty degrees east of north. actually displacement is given magnitude is given and the direction is also given so first i'll draw a vector which is having magnitude 40 km suppose this is the vector one minute suppose this is the vector having magnitude 40 40 kilometers 30 degrees east of north where is 30 degrees east of north you know that this is what is this 30 degrees suppose this is 30 degrees 30 degrees east of north this is 30 degrees east of north so we represented a vector graphically whose displacement is 40 degrees and whose direction is 30 degrees east of north i hope you understand this first question now we'll move to the second question you see the second question classify the following as a scalar and vector quantities you observe these bits by seeing them you need to say that which one is scalar quantity which one is vector quantity come to the first bit first bit 10 kg 10 kg it is mass so what we say it's a scalar 10 kg is a scalar you observe second one second bit 2 meters northwest magnitude is given direction is also given so 2 meters northwest it's a vector quantity you know what is scalar what is vector scalar means it is a physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction vector means it is a physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction 10 kg is a just magnitude no direction so it's a scalar you observe here 2 meters northwest 2 meters 2 meters magnitude and northwest direction is also given that's why it's a vector quantity now you see 40 degrees 40 degrees is a temperature 40 degrees yes you tell it's a scalar or vector 40 degrees scalar or vector it's just magnitude no direction so temperature is a scalar temperature you observe what is the room temperature 40 degrees in which direction you will ask so temperature is not having a direction it is having only magnitude similarly 40 watt 40 watt is units so 40 watt is a scalar quantity it's only magnitude is there coulomb we know that in physics uh, you will learn this uh, coulombs is a constant it's a constant so constant every constant is treated as a scalar okay now next bit the sixth bit you observe the sixth bit 20 meter per second square in physics you know that meter per second square are the units of acceleration in in the beginning only we learned that acceleration is a scalar or vector acceleration is a vector quantity i hope you understand this now we'll move to third question classify the following as scalar and vector quantity here few things are given few physical quantities physical quantities are given by seeing these physical quantities you need to say they are scalar quantity or vector quantity okay first bit you see time in the beginning of the definition only we learn time time is what means 4 o'clock 
3 o'clock. Which direction you will ask? No, you don't ask. Time is a physical quantity, only magnitude, no direction. Suppose someone asks what is time, what you will say? 4 o'clock. In which direction you will ask? No. So, what you say for first bit? Time is a physical quantity which is having only magnitude. So, time is scalar quantity. Okay. Second bit. Distance. Distance. Height. Length. All these are scalar quantities. Distance. No need of direction for distance. So, distance is a scalar quantity. You see the third bit, force. Force. In the definition of vector, we discussed it regarding this force. Force is a physical quantity which is needed both magnitude and direction. So, force is a physical quantity which is need both magnitude and direction. So, what is force? Force is a vector. This we already discussed in the first class of vector algebra. Velocity. Velocity. Yes. This is very frequently used physical quantity. Velocity is a scalar or vector? It is a vector. Velocity, acceleration, force or vectors. Work done. How much work done? It is only magnitude. How much work you done? In which direction we will ask? Work done is a scalar quantity. I hope you understand this fourth question. Now we will move to the fifth question. So fourth question. Uh, you see what they are asking? Identify the following vectors. Identify the following vectors. Here some diagram is also given. You see the first bit. Co-initial vectors. By seeing this diagram, you need to identify co-initial vectors. What is the definition of co-initial vectors? We discussed it in earlier classes. I am asking you only. What is the definition of co-initial vectors? Vectors which are having same initial point are called co-initial vectors. Now you observe the diagram which vectors are having same initial point. Observe the diagram which vector is having same initial point. You observe this vector is directed from like this. Like this. This vector is directed like this. If you observe this a bar and d bar. Observe the vectors a bar and d bar. Are they co-initial vectors? Both are having same initial point. This vector initial point is this. This vector initial point is this. So, what we say here? A bar, comma, D bar. Are these vectors are co-initial vectors? Yes. You observe any other. You see here, this is the terminal point of A bar and this is the initial point of B bar. So, vectors which are having same initial point. There is no other two vectors are co-initial. So, what we say from this diagram, A bar comma D bar are co-initial vectors. A bar comma D bar are co-initial vectors. I hope you are understanding. Now, you see the second bit. Equal vectors. What is the definition of equal vectors? Vectors which are having same magnitude and same direction. You observe the diagram. A bar, C bar are having same magnitude. The vectors A bar, C bar are having same magnitude. Are they having same direction? You observe A bar is directed like this. Please observe this. A bar is directed like this. And what about C bar? Opposite direction of A bar. So, A bar and C bar are equal vectors? No. Even though they are having equal magnitude, but their direction is not same. You observe the vectors B bar and D bar. Observe the vectors B bar and D bar. In the diagram, you observe the vectors B bar and D bar. B bar and D bar are having same magnitude? Yes. B bar and D bar are having same direction? Yes. So, what we say? B bar comma D bar are equal vectors. I hope you are understanding. Good. Now, we will move to the third bit. What is the third bit in this? Uh, Collinear but not equal. Vectors are collinear but not equal. Collinear. We discussed about the definition of collinear in earlier classes. Collinear vectors. Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. 
collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. You observe here which vectors are parallel, which vectors are parallel, A bar, C bar are parallel, are parallel, yes, A bar, C bar are parallel, good, B bar, D bar, B bar, D bar are parallel, yes, B bar, D bar are parallel, but you observe the question, the vectors which are collinear but not equal, not equal, you observe B bar, D bar, B bar, D bar are collinear, collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors, B bar, D bar are collinear vectors and they are equal vectors are also, you observe the second bit, B bar, D bar are equal vectors also, so here A bar, C bar are the parallel vectors, they are not equal, so what we write here, A bar and C bar are collinear, the simple thing is uh, collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors, collinear but not equal, I hope you are understanding, now we will move to the next bit, next question. Okay, you see fifth question, answer the following as true or false, okay, first bit, you see the first bit whether it is true or false. A bar minus A bar are collinear. A bar, something vector like this. Suppose this is A bar. Minus A bar, minus A bar means what? It will be same magnitude but opposite direction. Same magnitude, opposite direction. A bar minus A bar are collinear. We know that collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. Are these vectors, this is minus A bar. Second one is minus A bar, first one is A bar. All these vectors are parallel? Yes. So, A bar minus A bar are collinear. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. As they are specifying to answer whether it is true or false, first bit is true. A bar and minus A bar are collinear. A bar and minus A bar are parallel. So, first bit is true. Now, move to the second bit. What is second bit? Two collinear vectors are always equal. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. If you know the definition of collinear vectors, you won't confuse in these things. Here you see this is one vector, this is another vector, this is another vector. I'll mark, uh, you, you, you name them, this is uh, in this direction like uh, AB bar, AB bar. This is PQ bar, PQ bar, okay. And I will take some other vector that is uh, uh, which direction? It will take like this, RS bar. You observe these vectors. The vectors are parallel. The vectors are collinear. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. Here, what? which bit we are doing? Second bit. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. No, you observe here AB bar and PQ bar, they are collinear but they are not equal. Understanding, you observe PQ bar and RS bar, they are collinear but they are not equal. You observe AB bar and RS bar, they are collinear but not equal. So, what you say about second statement, it's a true or false? It's a false statement. Two collinear vectors are always, always, not necessary always, it may or may not be, always equal in magnitude. So it's a false statement. Two collinear vectors may or may not be equal in magnitude. So second statement is false. Now move to the third bit. What is the third bit? What they are asking in the third bit? You can answer all these things very easily if you are good in the definitions. So please watch earlier videos so that you can understand the definition of collinear vectors, unit vectors, all the things. Now come to the third bit. Two vectors having same magnitude. Two vectors having same magnitude are collinear. Two vectors having same magnitude. I will take uh, one example here. I will take one example here. Uh, this is the vector, okay, this is the another vector. 
take in two vectors this vector magnitude is 5 units it is directed like this this vector magnitude is of 5 units this vector is like this two vectors having same magnitude are collinear you better remember this collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors are these vectors are parallel you can easily say that they are not parallel collinear vectors the vectors having same magnitude are collinear. We are doing third bit. Two vectors having same magnitude are collinear. These are having same magnitude, but can we say they are collinear? No. So what about third bit? It's a false statement. Now, last question of this exercise, last bit of this exercise, fourth bit or fifth question. Two collinear vectors having same magnitude are equal. Two collinear vectors having same magnitude are equal. I will consider two collinear vectors first. This is one vector. This is uh, another vector having same magnitude. This vector is uh, 5 units. This vector is 5 units. Observe the direction. Direction is opposite. These two vectors are having uh, same magnitude. Direction is opposite. Collinear vectors. We know that collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. You observe these two vectors. Are they parallel? Yes, they are parallel. Two collinear vectors having same magnitude. Here these are all have, these two vectors having same magnitude. Are they equal? When we say vectors are equal, if their magnitude is same and direction is also same. Here magnitude is same, direction is not same. So what you say about this statement? This statement is false. You can understand this first exercise very easily if you are good in theory part of this uh, exercise. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.